Hello guys and welcome to C Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. Here we are discussing about the variables. In the previous tutorial we discussed about the variable definition and rules to name the variables. So variables is nothing but name given to the memory location. That is we want to store and retrieve data in the main memory. And we can do that by using the memory address but it is not the easy task. So to make this retrieval and storing process easy, we name that memory location and that name is called as variables. This is what we discussed in the previous tutorial. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about the variable declaration. That is if you are using any variables in your program, first you need to declare that. You need to declare the variables at the beginning of the function. That's nothing but if you are using variables in your program that is inside the main function then you need to declare them at the beginning of the main function. Uh, that is something like this. Here this is the main function. After this curly brace you need to declare variables. Okay, after this you can write other statements here. So after this curly brace you need to declare variables. You need to declare the variables at the beginning of the function. Okay, so now we will see the general format of variable declaration. Okay, so the syntax of variable declaration is first here data type. space next here variable name next at the end semicolon here data type is nothing but it will tell which type of data you are storing in that variable in the memory we can store any type of data that is we can store integer data or floating point numbers characters or strings so you can store any kind of data in the memory here if i write a is equal to 10 that is nothing but here the variable a will hold the integer value here 10 is the integer value right if i write b is equal to 4.5 that is nothing but here variable b is holding the floating point value if i write c is equal to character a here C is holding a character value. So any kind of data can be stored in the memory and while declaring the variable we need to tell which kind of data will be stored in that variable. For example in this case A is equal to 10 here A is holding the integer value so, so while declaring it I need to mention data type as int. So because I am storing integer value in that variable and the variable name is A. This is how we need to declare the variable. We need to mention the data type and variable name and this is the end of the statement that is semicolon. So for B is equal to 4.5 here 4.5 is the floating value. So, so I'll write like this float and variable name is b okay so while declaring the variable we need to mention the data type that is the type of data that variable is holding so this is about the variable declaration when you declare a variable a space is allocated in the memory and that memory location is called as the variable name uh, for example here int a when this instruction is executed that is int a here in the memory a space is allocated and that memory location is named as a and this space will hold the integer value okay and whatever we wrote here this is the initialization okay here we are initializing the variable we are assigning some value to the variable so this is called as initialization so after this initialization that value will be stored in this memory.
so in simple world we can say like this okay this is the variable declaration here compiler will understand in our program we are using a variable called a and it will hold the integer value so in the memory a uh, memory space is allocated and that memory location is called as a okay and it will hold the integer value after this if i initialize that variable that is with the integer value 10 so this is called as variable initialization here this is the constant value and this is the assignment operator and this is the variable okay after the initialization this 10 value will be stored in this memory location okay this is about the variable initialization and declaration and next we can do this initialization and declaration in the same line that is instead of writing int a a is equal to 10 we can combine this and we can write int a is equal to 10 okay we can write in the single line and next we can do the multiple declaration and the syntax is same that is uh, data type and here variable list that is nothing but if you want to declare more than uh, one variable and of same data type then you can use this that is nothing but uh, here you want to declare this is int a next int b int c int d okay so here we can see we want to declare uh, four variables of same data type instead of writing in the four different line we can write in the single line that is like this int a comma b comma c comma d okay so we can do the multiple uh, declaration here first we need to mention the data type then we can mention the variable and the variables are separated by the comma at last we you need to use semicolon this is for the multiple variables of same data type okay here all the variables of integer type that's why we can mention like this and next uh, we can do the multiple declaration as well as initialization in the same line that is something like this int a equal to 10 comma b equal to 5 comma c we can do like this so this is about the initialization and declaration and here we discussed about uh, three data type that is integer float and character so for float we'll use keyword float for character we will use char and we will discuss more about the data type in the next tutorial ok so for now we will concentrate on the variables uh, ok so this is about the variable declaration and initialization next in the previous tutorial we discussed about the variable names right so in that uh, I forgot to mention few points that is uh, that is variable name can be up to 31 character you can use the variable of 31 character in your program and always try to use the meaningful name instead of giving random names try to give the meaningful variable name that will make easy to understand the program previously I told you can use any variable name but you can't use keyword as variable name keywords are nothing but these are the words which has predefined meaning like uh, if else and okay this word has predefined meaning so you can't use this as the variable name we'll discuss more about the keywords in the next tutorial but for now just remember that you can't use the keyword as the variable names that is nothing but you can't use if is equal to 10 okay you can't write like this okay in this tutorial we talked about the declaration of variables but why we need to declare the variables first because uh, because of the variable declaration compiler will come to know about the variable name so it will come to know okay so in this program we are using this variable and 
which type of data is storing in that variable for example here we'll declare something like this int a okay so compiler will see this so compiler will understand a variable used in this program that variable name is a and this variable will store the integer value okay and here in c each data type has its own storage requirements okay storage requirement is different for integer different for float different for character okay so once the compiler will see this okay so in a memory location you will store integer value so it will allocate that much space which is required for integer value next thing is because of variable declaration it is easy to eliminate the error for example in your program first uh, you will declare a variable called distance okay as 10 okay next in the program while writing the formula you will write something like this okay this is this formula is to calculate the speed so while writing the formula by mistakenly you will write the different uh, spelling you wanted to write the distance but uh, by mistake you write this okay then you'll save the program and you'll compile it so that time it will show the error okay because this is not declared it will show this is not declared okay because here we declare distance but here by mistake we wrote the different spelling so it will show the error so we'll come to know about the error and we can correct it and we can run it then we'll get the correct output so if uh, in any other language where the variable declaration is not required then that time this is treated as the another variable and it won't give any error it will calculate the result using the value whatever stored in this variable or it will treat this as zero and it will calculate the output and it will give result in this case so at that time we get wrong output but it won't show any error message so because of that find out the error is difficult in this case if we did the variable declaration then it will give this as the error so it is easy to find out the error in the variable declaration part okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care